This was by far the most challenging project I have ever taken on for a video. This video is a continuation of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle customization video. The things you're gonna see me do in this video are extremely dangerous. In preparation for this video, I have watched a handful of videos. In case of an emergency, I have a video on how to treat third degree burns on standby. In all seriousness, do not attempt anything you see me doing in this video at home. This is not a how-to video. I am by no means an expert, but I am an adult who is fully capable of safely operating every piece of equipment you'll see in this video. You'll be literally watching my very first attempts at casting and smelting from the comfort of your living room. So please sit back, grab some popcorn, and enjoy. Okay guys, I'm really excited because I finally have everything I need to finish our custom Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Akato Warrior build. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. If it's not too late, you can enter to win your very own custom Raphael and Foot Soldier Akato Warrior. As you probably already figured out by now, we're going to make solid metal weapons for the Foot Soldier. I bought this bag of aluminum granules, but as a backup, I also have a bunch of cans. I decided to do a test melt with the granules, and I figured out real quick that they wouldn't work because the torch I was using kept blowing them out of the crucible. The can melted really quick on the other hand and also gave me a lot of aluminum, so we're going to go with the cans. Anytime you see me smelting in this video, be assured I'm wearing safety glasses and a respirator. Because this is my first time smelting and casting, I wanted to try a test run with something easy. This Minecraft Ender Egg is perfect. I'll coat it with baby powder so it releases from the molding sand and I'll place half of it in the mold. Oh, there's slime inside it. I wonder if Eddie or Clarky did that. Let's put on some gloves and pack this mold full of sand. Now we can flip the mold over and carefully remove the egg. And you can see it's a perfect imprint that's left in the sand. Now I'll put the whole egg back in along with the top section of the mold and repeat the packing process. I just need to remove the egg and carve out a path for the molten aluminum and now we are ready to smelt. Let me just put on my slippers so I can smash some cans. And this is the moment of truth. My first attempt at casting and smelting right here, guys. And this is seriously the only cup I could find to cool it off in. I think it came out pretty awesome and it has me really excited to attempt the weapons. Here's the egg all cleaned up. And while it's not perfect, I think it's an impressive first attempt.
For this first try, I'm just going to cast Nightblade's original katanas because that's the weapon you'll see every foot soldier holding. And I feel like upgrading the weapons to metal will give them more weight and also maybe even an advantage. And as you can see, setting up the mold takes a lot of time, but luckily the sand is reusable. Let's take a look at our first attempt. The aluminum didn't even make it past the opening. It all just hit the sand and hardened up. For this next attempt, I'm upgrading the weapon to the Series 3 Nightblades weapon. It's a lot more detailed and bulkier, which should make it a lot easier for the molten aluminum to travel through. After making the mold so many times, I'm actually getting pretty good at it. This time, the aluminum went a little farther. I'm pretty sure this isn't going to work, but I just wanted to attempt an open face cast because I'm running out of ideas. If I can't make metal weapons, I have no idea what to do for the foot soldier's weapon. I'm starting to feel really bad because I've been posting pictures of all this stuff on the members only community section for the past week. They look all right, but it would take forever to cut these out and then I'd still have to glue the two halves together. I'm gonna try casting the sword again, but this time I'm gonna start from the guard, excluding the handle altogether. This attempt was the best so far, and it gave me an idea. What if I slam the mold down a couple times right after pouring the molten aluminum? To accomplish this, I have two pieces of wood on either side of the mold, and it's being held together with a C-clamp. If this doesn't work, I'm out of ideas. Hopefully this worked because I'm really running out of time. It definitely looks like it made it all the way to the bottom. This is exciting guys. Let me clean it off so we can take a good look at this thing. Okay, one side is definitely nicer than the other, but overall, I think it's awesome. Let's saw off this huge chunk from the bottom. Next, I'll use my Dremel with the wire wheel to clean it up a little. Since we cast it without a handle, we need to reattach it to the original plastic handle. To make this bond strong enough for battle, I'll drill a small hole in the bottom of the guard. Now, I'll drill a hole completely through the handle. To tie everything together, I'm going to use a nail and super glue.
I can't wait to see this in the hand of the foot soldier. But first, let's polish this and make it as shiny as possible. So what do you guys think of the custom metal weapon? Should I attempt to make more? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys made it all the way to the end, please consider subscribing to Eddie's World. If you are already subscribed, please consider becoming a member. You'll get daily updates on upcoming videos and projects along with other exclusive perks. Thank you all so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.